rocks had like six training drones to one. Um, yeah. Although Kirby had uh, more normal drones, and now Kirby's been sticking his green into Trinity's. Since he's been over defending, he hasn't needed to. He hasn't need to, to use Plexo cells, and he hasn't yeah. been using Nevos. Well, he has been using Nevos, hmm. but he's got three conduits. They have a lot of conduits. And the synthesizer. Right. Oh, and the synth. Jeez, yeah, they have like so much. Well, synth plus conduit is like blue income, right? Yeah. Using synthesizer here to pick up a grenade mech. Uh, what, what do you I, think? I like. What do you think about um, only what like Kirby getting his first grenade mech here, um, and not very many of them being bought this game? What do you think about that? I think grenade max could have been bought more often. Uh, I think uh, Rocks bought too many steel splitters early on, and I think both players made the mistake of firing Odin far too early. I think Odin shouldn't be fired. If this game this game went on for 21 turns, you're just dealing damage to yourself, honestly. If, like, sure your opponent can like use Apollo to snipe steel splitter, but then he's not sniping walls, so you have to buy less walls. With which gold you can buy, like, Gauss Cannons. Well, and those Gauss Cannons in the long run will do more damage than clicking Steel, like clicking Odin will. Well, the way I see it is that you're using a Steel Splitter to deal 4 damage, so your opponent's going to have to buy an extra Wall plus Engineer, which could have been used to buy a Steel Splitter plus have a gold, so you're actually winning on that trade. Um, mm. If you see you see it that way. I guess if you look at it that way. I don't know. I feel like I feel maybe even getting a later Odin could be correct. Like around the time when the uh, defense grid is dying. Like that would be the best timing for Odin. Ah, that's I, interesting. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, and until then you keep buying like uh, Gauss cannons and grenade max and actually dealing constant damage and then when <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean in a long game your Odin is not really the long-term damage. No. It actually completely runs out of damage. Yeah. By the end of the game, especially in an Apollo game. Um, Which so is, was uh, that was that the end of that series? I I'm not sure. Uh, let me just check if they're in another game or if that's. They haven't started a started a new one. Yeah. Oh, whoops. I'm asking him. I think uh, they're probably going to update the scores soon anyways. But yeah, a lot of 2-0s again. Only 1-1. One one, unless this was a 2-1 as well. Yeah, wow. It's uh, pretty one-sided, these games. that I, I thought that game, or that uh, round, would be closer because um, people are play the winners play the winners, right? For the most part. Okay, so... Oh, it was 2-1, yes. Uh, J. Kirby won. So the next... Uh... The next yeah. Swiss round can begin. Uh, this is the middle round. Only well, three they, more to go. They can begin once they report the game. Yeah, once the last game is reported. It's gonna... Who, who won that game? Uh, J. Kirby, 2-1. Okay, Kirby 1, 2 1. So, Allrex 2 and 0, Dunkuro 2 and 0, Silver Spawns 2 and 0, and Bear is 2 and 0. Okay, so uh, J, J Kirby won that game 2 1. Okay, and now we have our new our new round. Um, so, everyone can I, start. Let's go check on I'm in the Bear Suit and Dunkuro. They're both 2 and 0, and I did want to see a Bear Suit's game. So. The other game that's probably interesting to watch is uh, All Rock Silver Spawn, but we just watched All Rock, so yeah. Um, yeah, we should watch. Uh, we should watch Bear Suit. We haven't seen him. Uh, have we seen Dunkaroo? I don't think we have. No, neither. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely the game we're gonna watch.
right? Just waiting for, uh, okay, did they just start? It looks like they did. Yeah, I think they did. Uh, Dunkoro player one. And okay, the got... set is, uh... The first Frostbooter. This set's kind of weird. Like, Frostbooter is good, but there's actually a lot of good units versus Frostbooters uh, here as well, in my opinion. There's Gauss Fab. Uh, there's Plasma Fire, which kind of crushes any Frostbooter strategy because uh, it's too fast for Brooder to really do much. Um, and there's Cauterizer, which is just good versus Brooder. Uh, even Hannibal. Um, yeah, Cauterizer good. and Shiver Yeti are like, direct counters to Brooder um, yeah. without going Breach Proof. Um, and then you have Gauss Fabricator yeah. for going Breach Proof. Although your drone, there's no alternative drone, so you can't really go Breach Proof. Yeah, that's true. I think you still can. Uh, so Dunkiro is going to rush Centrifuge, and Bear Suit is going with the um, natural P2 opening. I think he's either going for Redeemer or Redeemer into Plasma Fire. I would love to see Redeemer into Plasma Fire. Um, the double Rhino stops. Stops Redeemer, Redeemer but then Gauss but, Fab comes out. Yeah, which I I like um, since your opponent looks like he's going. I don't know Hannibal's. Man. He's only at, like, I don't know. This is playing so fast. Yeah, they are playing really fast. <laughs> don't even have time to commentate. What is, what, uh, what is this, Q-Cup? <laughs> uh, I don't... I feel like... Uh, I guess Dunkero needed one more green in order to set up for his Redeemer, but he was so busy denying his opponent's potential Redeemer that he couldn't do it. No, if Dunkero wanted to go to Redeemer, he wouldn't... Uh he wouldn't be going Hannibal's then, because he actually wanted the wall for the Redeemer. Right, like, only have, absorbing... He could have gone, like, wall Redeemer if he had one more green. Yeah, but he, but then he wouldn't be able to go Hannibal, right? Yeah. So, so do you think his and plan And it looks like he to... wants to go... It looks like, to me, um, Dunkoro wants to go, like, Hannibal's with... with, um, with Frostbooter, maybe getting a Cauterizer next turn. I wonder if, like, just having so much HP um, and being unable to kill all of that HP will just win this game. It's interesting that Dunkerill got a Frostbooter even though Bear Suit went for a Gauss Fabricator. Um, <laughs> why, why are you leaving drones back? I guess so that... No, this is just a mistake, I think. Yeah, there's no reason to leave those drones back. The, the one reason I could see is that if... Uh, Dunkoro decides to freeze force field, you don't lose the wall. <laughs> That's just weird to me. But I think the two gold, like getting the two gold is probably just better. Um, so he got a cause razor and let himself get breached for it. That's kind of interesting. I guess yeah. I guess he has um, Hannibal's, Hannibal's against six damage. So that makes sense why um, Bear Suit got the plasma fire. And yeah. that makes sense why he gambited uh, the... Plasma fire is good. Like plasma fire is good here, um, but I think maybe just spamming Gauss cannons could have been better. Question mark? Because um, yeah, your drones are now more valuable than they yeah. were before. Yeah, your um. Oh, that was a weird block by Bear. I don't um, think it was. I think he wanted to have more walls left so the frostbites can breach, but. Yeah, he realized he still can't defend anyways, so just do this. Um, how do you like, instead of wall, how do you like just picking up two Gauss cannons this turn? I think since you have a plasma fire, you're kind of committed to trying to defend. I guess. As sad I, as that I, is. I don't like plasma fire versus Hannibal's and Cauterizer. I like them versus just, just red, but red blue has a lot of HP. Did, so. did you notice that he decided to kill six defense instead of a Hannibal. Yeah. Uh, That's yeah. just a mistake, correct? Really? Uh, it stops the same amount of damage. Oh, it stops a cauterizer. Okay. Okay, so it's like equivalent, I guess. Yeah. Maybe. And here again, you don't need to kill Hannibal. Because, again, you're killing six defense. And, uh... Yeah. Right. And you're stopping a cauterizer. But you're also getting closer to breaching and killing that Tarsir. So Although, isn't it perhaps better 
Wouldn't it have been better to kill the Hannibal so that the Cauterizer isn't on defense because that gives him an extra absorb? Hmm. Yes, yes. If you say, like, yeah, if you think of it that way, I think maybe he should have uh, killed Hannibal twice in a row. Like, even with, even not killing Wall, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like, when you have exactly six damage, he maybe should have killed Hannibal and not gone for the Breach. Um, I th what do you think about Bear Suit buying engineers instead of replenishing his drones? That seems. I think I would do the opposite that he's doing. Really? Yeah. I, I think the engineers are good because uh, then Frostbites don't actually breach. And in, in that case, you actually have more time for the drones uh, since. Well. Either you buy two drones and then your opponent breaches and kills three drones, or you buy like three engineers and then your opponent doesn't breach, right? You, yeah, the engineers are more effective against frostbite, but um, if you buy drones and force fields instead of engineers, then you get to yeah. basically gain a gold because you're spending a green instead of that gold yeah. and you have extra green. I guess so. Um, would you use two frostbites here to deal two damage? That's one damage per frostbite. Uh, yeah, I would. Hmm. Um, the reason I would is only use, though. the reason is that those frostbites are not freezing it's for um, more for than each. one. I mean, they're freezing yeah. for one, so one damage is better than one freeze. So, might as well use them. Uh, also, if you use them to freeze this turn. Then your frostbites the next turn will have better freeze efficiency. Yeah. So it's like a long term kind of investment. Uh hmm. I like the Kodos position here. Three Hannibals do take quite a bit to kill. Uh but he still has a lot of Gauss cannons, so those Gauss cannons also take a lot of time to kill. And ten ten drones won't be defending for that long. Yeah. I think he should have gotten a drone, right? Is that that gas cannon? Mm, um, really? No, I don't think so. Because like that one damage is probably better than uh. Well, he could have got he could have gotten two drones, right? Um, well, yeah, better than two drones probably mm, in this situation. Okay, yeah, maybe. Because uh, he can't he can't breach uh, all the drones, so I guess it's fine. And getting breached here for a uh, wow. Yeah, I think he didn't, this is he a didn't even bother defending. Wow. Okay. Because I think this because is he has exactly twelve damage, so he's gambiting. But he could kill a Tarsier and drones, right? I think you do kill the double Hannibal here. I think uh, this means you win the game, basically, because now your opponent just won't have enough damage to kill so many, uh, like to kill the amount of Gauss cannons that you have. I don't know. I think I... killing Frostbites is definitely a mistake. <laughs> yeah, killing Frostbites is like the worst thing you could do. But I think killing a Tarsier and three drones is probably good. Two drones? Uh, you can kill... Two drones? Oh, two drones, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, not as good in the immediate, good. but you, you kill all that defense, right? Yeah, that's true. But uh, does this stop you from losing Plasma Fire, maybe? Uh, that's six. Okay, that's a good. Now I think you still lose plasma fire. One, two, three. Well, if you force that's... him to spend four damage on the plasma fire. Yeah, that's also good. Then he's not killing your drones. And, so and that's he's using nice. six frostbites, right? He's also using six frostbites to kill the plasma fire. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Do you think it's worth it to use these frostbites here? I, I mean, think. You kind of have to, but even still, you're probably going to lose because nine drones won't be able to defend for long enough. Uh, right? There is Blood Pack, though. I was just going to say, uh, Blood Pack might be the thing that allows Dunkuro to win anyways. There is Blood because Pack. Because 